Hello, and we are live. Yay. This is the first episode of Freedom Unleashed, which is my new weekly live show. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. Happy Monday. Happy Lionsgate energy. We are in the powerful Lionsgate portal, energetic portal, which is pretty much the most important time of the year for manifesting your goals. So today we are talking all about how to stop someday your goals and activate your next level now, your next level of freedom, your next level of abundance, your next level dreams, your next level, <clears throat> excuse me, your next level life. And I'm so excited to share this with you. For anyone who doesn't know me, I am Rachel Avalon, and I am a spiritual healer. I channel with the angels. I'm an angel channel, and I'm also a spiritual business and success coach, and I work with women primarily to create lives of total freedom through sharing their gifts with the world. I help them clear their blocks and get unstuck. I also teach teach manifestation and also business strategy and teach them how how to share their how to monetize their gifts and how to get their souls work out into the world to create a life of total freedom and that's what we're going to be talking about on this show every single week whatever i feel called to share this is actually like for me this is the next level of freedom for me this is the next level of freedom that my soul was crying out for me to share is to have this show to have this platform to be able to talk about whatever is on my heart whatever is on my soul but under the general umbrella of freedom which is really what my passion is everything that i do is all about creating more freedom for my life and creating more freedom helping you to create more freedom for your life because this is what i was put on the earth to do is to help people to increase the levels of freedom in their lives so that they get to experience they get to experience bliss on earth they get to they get to live their purpose they get to live their dreams so that they get to live a life of total expansiveness and freedom and that's freedom on all levels freedom to speak their truth freedom to express their creativity freedom to travel freedom to you know go where they want to go freedom to have you know financial freedom to have the money and the resources that they need to fulfill their dreams freedom to so that they can then give back to others and help other people to you know live lives of freedom freedom of time and energy the first thing that i feel called to share today that we need to start with and i always channel the information everything in this show everything that i do is always channeled from my higher self and from the higher realms including with the angels because they are my main spiritual guide so everything is channeled that i do and this is this is one aspect of freedom for me is always making sure that i'm in alignment with speaking my truth so what i felt called to share today to start out by sharing and I always ask what is most important to share for, you know, for the highest good, for the collective, is that you do actually get to have it all. You do actually get to have it all. It is a myth. It is a limiting belief that we have been brainwashed to believe that we have to settle for less and that we have to, you know, live a life that isn't totally free, that we have to be restricted in any way, shape, or form. This is not true. You get to have it all. I also, also as I was channeling this, I, I realized that, um, that one example of this, and actually I just realized that I forgot to say it again, is that I'm also an artist. In fact, the first way that I started channeling is through my artwork, is through my visual creative expression. And so one way that has been very powerful for me, especially in the past year or so, more recently, has been to realize that I don't have to separate my art and my coaching and my spiritual teaching and my teaching about manifestation and my um, 
and you know like i can bring all of my gifts together and i can be good at all of these things i don't have to i don't have to put myself into a box of i am a, i am a coach or i am a healer or i am an artist or i am um a teacher or i or i only teach on manifestation or i only teach on business or whatever you can actually do and be all of these things and you can do them all well and the more that you realize that and you actually encompass all of your gifts and you and you and you become aware and you fuel all of your passions the more the more abundant your life is going to be the more free you're going to feel the more free you're going to feel that then fuels the abundance and this is actually how you start activating the next level this is this is kind of the starting point we're going to break it down i have a few kind of points to share so you don't ever have to settle for less so for a while i was actually thinking like i have to put my art career on hold because i'm doing because i was called to start this this business five years ago and i actually was called to start this business to create a life of freedom because i was feeling restricted and held back by the job that i was in and even though my job was very creative and very, had a lot of empowerment, it wasn't, I have worked in, in awful restrictive corporate jobs before as well. And uh, not nine to five, like way longer than nine to five <laughs> hours. And then I got my PhD and I was teaching at a university and a top level university. And it was like a dream job in many ways, but I still felt held back and I still felt restricted and it didn't make any logical sense because there was nothing wrong, like it was a good situation. And, um, and I was working my way up and I could have been there for years and years and years. And it was a very creative job, but there was something within me that still felt held back. I didn't, I didn't want the restriction of having a job of working for someone else. I wanted to work for myself because I wanted total freedom. And I didn't want someone to say that my income could be capped at any, you know, at any time or that I couldn't speak about spiritual things. I couldn't speak about angels, which I was feeling more and more and more drawn to speak about, not just angels, but you know, other spiritual aspects. And I couldn't really bring that all into the, the conversation and bring that to the table. And I had to worry about certain, you know, um, protocol and rules to follow, which you do, of course, when you're working with students and, and all in situations, and that's fine. And that might not feel restrictive to someone, but for me, that felt totally restrictive. So I had the call to start my own business. And originally it was because I wanted to explore my teaching beyond the university and to have the freedom to teach on whatever I wanted to teach on and to include my spiritual gifts. And that for me was a way that I was going to be able to do more of my artwork and to give me more time freedom to do my artwork as well. Well, as I saw later on that actually I got so consumed by my spiritual teaching and then my coaching and my healing and all these things, that I actually, and that not just that, actually, I became a mother as well and, um, and had a lot of other things going on in my personal life. So actually that probably was more than, than the business that probably took up my time more than the business and took me a, a bit away from my artwork. But even so, I kept thinking I've got to, I've got to keep my art career separate from my coaching or I've got to totally separate them. And I'm not even really like, I didn't know how to meld them together. And I felt like I had to keep everything separate and I had to box myself in. And that was starting to feel really restrictive too. So then I started to feel like even my business was starting to feel restrictive. And I was like, hang on a minute. That's not, that's not the point of this business. The whole point of this business is to be fully free and to have, you know, this unleashed freedom that we're talking about. So then it was shown to me that actually I get to be an artist, I get to be a healer, I get to be a coach, I get to bring all these things together. It doesn't mean I necessarily have to go do my art like right here on Facebook Live, although maybe I will, I don't know. It's still being revealed to me. But the point is you get to have it all, you get to be all of these things. Or I was thinking, okay, well in 10 years or in five years, I will I will then pursue my art more, um, more seriously because my business will be even more established. And then, you know, whatever, you know, you start having all these ideas and then it's like, no, I don't have to wait. I don't have to wait five years. I don't have to wait three years. I don't have to wait this. I don't have to wait that. I get to do everything that I desire. And I, I get to have the time freedom. I get to have the energy freedom. I get to have, um, you know, 
with all the resources that I need to be able to make all this happen. I don't know exactly how it's all going to happen. I still don't know exactly how it's all going to happen because I started to make it more of a focus more recently to start, you know, to start not just my art career. Okay, so I have all these other goals, which I'm sure most of you guys here do too. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't be here. You're drawn to be here because you have, you know, multiple passions and you're passionate about many things and many gifts and many and many talents and many skills. So, um, like, I also have books that I want to write. I also want to be speaking more. You know, I also want now I'm doing this this like podcast. There are all these things that I've always dreamt of doing. And I kept thinking, well, I've got to do this one. Then I can do the other one. Then I can do the other one. Then one day I'll get to this or then someday I'll get to that. And that is total BS because the more that we put things off and someday our goals, the more distant they get, the more distant they go off into the future and possibly never, ever, ever, ever get there. In fact, more likely never, ever, ever get there. And now I'm also, I'm also at a stage of life where I have experienced some, some stuff. I was like, I'm, I'm technically middle aged. Like that's freaking scary. That's weird. <laughs> I'm middle aged. So I don't think of myself as middle-aged. I don't think of myself as, you know, I still, of course, like no matter what age you're at, um, you still always are like a kid inside, right? But I see now that I'm like, hang on a minute. If I keep someday-ing these goals, I'm going to be 50, then I'm going to be 60 or whatever. And I'm going to be sitting here saying, someday I'm going to get to them, right? And I have seen this with many of my clients, many of my students, they wake up one day and they are 50 and they are 60 or they are even older than that. And they're like, um, they're still trying to figure out how to do that thing that they wanted to do since they were a kid, that, that big dream or that big goal. So, and it doesn't matter how much you've already accomplished, right? Like I've accomplished big things in my art career already. I've already, like this business is already established for five years and it's growing and growing and growing. But there's all these other goals that I am still someday-ing, right? Or there's next levels that I, I'm even someday-ing. And then all of you, I guarantee all of you are too. And you might not even realize that you're doing it. So the first thing, first things first, is that you actually get to have it all. And when you step up and decide and claim that you get to have it all and that you don't ever have to settle for less and that you don't ever have to feel restricted and held back from expressing your soul's truth, your soul's gifts, your passions, your creativity, that that is when things start to shift and change. And I have already been working on changing this for the past couple of years. I think for the, the biggest thing that derailed, not derailed me, that's kind of a strong word, actually. <laughs> It just shows you my experience of motherhood as beautiful and as amazing as it has been. In fact, it is so rewarding now. And so, so amazing. My daughter's three. It did really like I wasn't prepared fully for how much it was going to take me away from many of my goals. Now, I also started this business to be able to stay home with my daughter. And that has been phenomenal. And I wouldn't change that for the world, especially now that she's growing up a bit more. I am like, thank God I've had this time with her because I can see in one more year she's going to school because here in the UK, you can go to school from the age of four and she's going to be out there in the world. So I am so grateful for that. But at the same time, it has taken up a lot of my time more than I realized not getting sleep and all these things. But I also realized through that experience that it was also my perception and my a lot of fears I had and a lot of unconscious beliefs leaving or thinking that motherhood had to be a struggle not consciously we have a lot of limiting beliefs and things that we can shift around whatever it is that 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 can feel like an obstacle to us and we can say well I don't have the time I don't have the energy it is not possible for me I don't have the resources how am I going to start my business or how am I going to have time to do my job and start my business? How am I going to have time to take care of my kids and run my business and have my art career and do all the things and do yoga? But you can, because actually time is infinite. Energy is infinite. Money is infinite. Abundance is infinite. Your potential is infinite. Your soul purpose is infinite. Everything is expanding all of the time. But when we stop we limit ourselves because we think we can't have it all because we think we have to settle for less because we think we don't have the time because we think we don't have the energy. And I'm not saying your external reality doesn't necessarily reflect that it can mine did. Especially when my daughter was younger, I was like, how do I have time for myself? How do I have time for myself? Because this was also 
like a like a year and a half, two years ago, before my business had really taken off, and my husband was working like God knows how many hours. We don't have any family nearby. I just felt like really unsupported. And I was like, how am I going to do this? How am I going to take my business to the next level? How am I going to have the time to do this? How am I going to you know, be able to do all this and take care of my health, which I've also put as a priority this past year. And with my, um, you know, just shifting so much about how I was taking care of my body at the time, I was like, how, how am I going to do this? There's no way I don't have time to do this. I can't, um, you know, I have to take care of my daughter. I have to do this. And I can't, I don't have the time or the energy to eat healthier or whatever, you know, whatever your goal is. And I was, but as I started to realize, and it was channeled to me and, and, and also like my, um, my mentors around me were encouraging me and telling me, um, which is very important and powerful to have, you know, saying you can do this and it is a choice and that is harsh it, it can be harsh to hear, but it is actually a choice that we make and we can choose right now to activate the next level and we can choose to change things and shift things but first you have to understand that you do get to have it all and you don't have to settle for less and when you you understand that and you realize that that it, everything is possible then things do start to shift and change even a small step can shift everything and the way that you activate the next level now is standing up and proclaiming that your goals and dreams are valid and that they are real and that you get to have every single one and that you no longer have to be held back. And so really the first step, of, that's the first step. The second step of activating this next level is understanding, but when you, and dreaming up, like when you dream up your goals, when you allow yourself to think beyond the kind of restrictive, potentially restrictive box that you might be putting yourself in or that society might be putting you in and this works on any single level this can work for a millionaire this can work for you know whatever your level of success because they might be boxing them in for making five million or seven million because they think it's going to take too much time or energy for them to get there right this is for any stage that you're at with your goals if you are limiting yourself and you're not allowing yourself to fully expand and be free and to dream as big as possible then you are limiting yourself and you're basically creating that reality now. When you decide and step up and say, I get to have this, I get to have this all, I get to have, I get to have my art career, I get to write books, I get to travel the world, I get to um, have my, my spiritual coaching business, I get to have all of these things, whatever your goals and dreams are, I get to have health at the same time, I get to get all the sleep I desire, I get to go to the gym, I get to go to yoga, I get to do all the things and take care of myself. When you dream that up, whatever the goal is, or maybe, you know, your goal is to become a New York Times bestselling author. Maybe your goal is to be in the top museums around the world. Maybe your goal is to be on, um, you know, Oprah's Super Soul Sunday program. Maybe your goal is to be a speaker at another event. Maybe your goal is to be one of the top, um, you know, inspirational speakers or spiritual teachers in the world. Whatever your goal is, when you dream it up, when you dream it up, that is how it activates. Because dreaming it up, having the goal, the vision, that activates it into being now. It is already real. It is already real in the spiritual, in the, in, in the energetic plane. It's already real. It takes time for it to show up in your physical reality, but it is already real. As soon as you conceive of the idea, it is activated. And when you understand that and when you trust that process, then you can drive that goal forward. Then you can actually bring it to fruition. And as it was channeled to me, is like the, the process of actually conceiving a child. That child, it takes nine, 10 months to gestate, but that doesn't mean it's not there, activated, you know, conceived, and it takes time to grow and grow and grow and grow. And we might not be able to see that like before technology or something and understand it all at first. And you can't always see it, but you trust and know this is happening. So it's the same with your goal. It's, it's conceived, but it needs time to grow and develop and come to fruition. No matter if it's a bigger goal, it might take longer. If it's a short, a smaller goal, it'll take less time. It depends on how many limiting beliefs and fears and whatever needs to come 
through to shift it, but it is activated then. And, and how you activate it even, you know, within your energy field then is, is in, and bring it and magnetize it into your physical reality is trusting and knowing that it is real. It is real. It is real. It is real in the energetic plane, the energetic plane, your imagination in your mind is just as real as the physical reality. So knowing that you then trust that it is real, you are stepping up then now you need to then now claim that you get to have this goal you've dreamed it up don't just let it sit there and and languish you now step up and claim to the universe to yourself to the universe you put that out there and project that energy that you get to have this goal that it is yours that it is real and it is yours and you are having it you deserve it and it is all possible and when you do that then the universe brings it to you. Then the universe creates the conditions for you to have this goal. Then you become an energetic match or a vibrational match for this goal. And the, you know, you're holding that space for this goal to show up. And the universe aligns things and realigns things and shifts things and will do whatever it takes to make this goal happen for you. If you, but it doesn't work the other way around. So many people, this is the someday part. So many people are saying, someday when I have the time, someday when I have the energy, someday when I have the resources, someday when I am worthy enough, someday when the universe goes, ding, you are now worthy of having this goal. Someday, ding, you get to have this goal. So many people are sitting around waiting passively for this someday to happen or for them, for the universe to bring it to them or to tell them it's okay. It's really like to, they think they have to be told it's okay to have this goal. And it works the total opposite way, the other way around. We were just talking about this in the Wealth Creation Circle, my membership group, my monthly membership group the other day. And this is such a powerful, a powerful shift a mindset shift an energetic shift that it needs to be shared here as well so many people are sitting sitting around waiting to be like tapped on the shoulder by the universe and told go ahead you can have your dreams now and it works the total opposite way you have to tap the universe on the shoulder and say ding i'm ready now ding i'm having this hey 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 tap 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 this goal is mine. I am claiming it and I am holding the space for this goal to show up and I am believing it and I'm trusting it and I'm doing everything in my power to make it possible. Then the universe goes boom, kazam, whatever. Like you get to have this goal. That's like the magic key. That's the activation key. That's like the superpower activation key. First you dream it up. Then you go, I am having it and you commit to it and you decide it and you totally commit and decide that it's yours and nothing sways you from that truth, then everything lines up and conspires in your favor to bring you that goal. And it can start with the smallest step. So I understand if it feels like you have no money, it feels like you have no time, it feels like you have no energy, but that that's all being reflected because you're not deciding and claiming and fueling that goal forward or because you're not believing that it's all possible for you and if you shift that and say no i get to have this you can start to take small steps now this is another way to activate it is by taking these small steps so like carving out two to it can start with two to three minutes a day even i promise you you spend two to three way more than two to three minutes but let's say a minimum of two to three five minutes a day scrolling your phone right? If you're like, I don't have time. Okay. Find a time when you're scrolling your phone aimlessly. We all do it. I do it. And I'm like, whoa, I just wasted three minutes doing that. Okay. We catch ourselves doing that. You could have been spending those three minutes meditating. You could have spent those three minutes exercising. You could have spent those three minutes, you know, writing down your goals or focusing and visualizing, feeling the energy of our goals. If we spent less time worrying about how like when our goals are going to come how they're going to come when am i going to have the money to do this when am i going to have the time to do this when am i going to have the energy to do this and we took all of that energy and we put it into believing and trusting and feeling and visualizing 
what it feels like to already have those goals and making them real and or you know actually taking physical steps to work towards them imagine how much faster you're going to get to your goal because that activates that activates your energy field that makes you that makes your energy field shift and become a match for that goal because the, what you are focusing on what you're focusing on is what multiplies what you focus on is what multiplies and you can just literally be an intentional shift a switch of your intentions to intend that you get to have this goal now and to step up and decide that and claim that and doing that on an energetic level shifts everything and then as you do that you will start to see synchronicities coming and falling into place to you know bring you opportunities to show you it can just be inspired ideas because when you have that mindset of feeling like you have to be blocked in you can't see it's like in i don't know if this is an american expression as well but in the uk we say you can't see the wood for the trees so it's like you don't even realize that you're in a forest because the trees like here <laughs> blocking your face so it's like it's like you don't even see the possibilities and the way out because you're so in it and because you you're not you know you think you have to stay stuck and i'm here to tell you, you don't have to stay stuck you never have to stay stuck you never have to stay stuck and if you're not if you're not sure how to get unstuck you can ask the universe you can call upon the angels just ask them to show you the way and trust that you are going to be shown the way but really it's about committing and deciding that you don't have to settle for being stuck you don't have to settle for being restricted ever when you know that with all of your being you will always find a way out and things will become you know things will shift and change and you are meant to be expansive you are meant to be free your light is not meant to be dimmed and held back by anything or anyone and like i said it doesn't all have to change right now what will shift right now is your energy what will shift right now is your perspective and that will activate your goal but as you as you do that then you're not you're also not using all of your energy to shift everything so this is the thing you step up and you claim this and you decide this and the universe meets you where you are. The universe comes swoop, swooping in to meet you where you are and to start shifting and rearranging things so that you can start to see clearer and then new opportunities and possibilities start to, start to things start to shift around you and fall into place. No dream is too big. Every dream starts with, you know, one small step, as they say. Every dream has to start somewhere and every step leads to the next step that's the other thing is you're never going to know exactly where it's all leading so i know that it can feel scary because it's like well how do i do this how does it all fall into place you're not supposed to know that that's the other thing about about trusting this process and this is the thing about taking a leap of faith as i say that's the leap of faith part of it is that you just know that your dream is real and you know that you're going to be supported in having this because you claim it because you decide decide it and you desire it and you deserve it and then it does all fall into place you don't know where it's leading i didn't know where i was being led when i started this business i had no idea i knew okay so you might know some stuff like i knew that i would create a life of freedom for myself somehow i didn't know how exactly i knew that i desired to be an entrepreneur and to have this business and to be able to you know have the freedom to stay at home to be with my mother my mother my daughter and my mother too actually because my mother's coming to visit soon and I, I don't get to see my mother enough i knew that i desired to be able to have the freedom the time the energy the money to be able to travel to see my mother and also my father who was very 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 ill for several years and I knew that I desired and would create the freedom to express the truth, the ideas, the wisdom, the creativity within my heart and soul that I have been, you know, bursting to share my entire life and have a greater platform to share this. I knew all of that, but how it was going to happen, I didn't know. 
I thought at first, like my business has gone through so many changes and is continuing continuing to change and evolve. And the beauty of it is, I mean, that is the beauty of it. The beauty of it is we don't know. It's like creating artwork. When you're manifesting your goals, it's like creating artwork, whether you're actually doing a creative, like, you know, artwork or not. It's like, you don't know how the painting is going to turn out. You just start putting colors on a, on a page because you feel guided to do that because you feel inspired to do that because you, your soul cannot not create what, whatever form that is for you. You follow that soul nudge. You follow that guidance. You know that this painting has to be birthed into the world. Now that can be your business. That can be your book. That can be your life of debt-free life. That can be whatever that goal is for you. That can be being able to travel around the world and work from anywhere. You know that this is going to happen because you feel it in your body and you know it's yours. When you have that bigger vision, when you have that dream, it wasn't given to you randomly. It's because that's your soul. When it feels uplifting and expansive, when things feel uplifting and expansive, that is your soul speaking to you. If anything doesn't feel uplifting and expansive, it feels restrictive, you feel held back, your light is being dimmed, then you know that you are settling somehow for less in that situation. And you don't necessarily have to change it all right then and there. It can shift subtly and it can shift slowly over time, depending on what the situation is and what needs to be done. But it can shift and you will shift out of it when you are following the call of your soul. So I didn't know. I started out, I started out teaching on um, creativity and helping other artists to express their creative voice. Then I, then I, then I was called to teach. Then I was really called to channel more with the angels and do angel readings and healings. And I was, um, and I for years I did a weekly energy reading, which I used to do on this page. And I started out with YouTube. Then I went to Facebook, and my business was called Angels of Light. And then I shifted into other forms of coaching, primarily life coaching. And then I shifted into business coaching and helping, you know, spiritual women to create their, their dream businesses, you know, using their gifts. Like my business keeps shifting and evolving at the core is still me at the core is still my message of freedom at the core is still, is still the same values as the same wisdom. Then my business was called now it's called heart soul bliss, but now it's even evolving now. I'm pretty sure it's going to, I'm not, not going to necessarily get rid of that name altogether, but I'm now branding it more Rachel Avalon. And, and now I have this show called Freedom Unleashed instead of my weekly reading. And I don't even know where this show is going to fully end up. It's starting here and it's supposed to be every week. Maybe it won't be every week. Maybe it will be every two weeks. I don't know. Maybe it's going to be whatever. It's going to grow and it's going to shift and it's going to change. And that is okay. We are always shifting and changing and evolving and expanding at all times. And the more you allow that shift and that change and that expansion to happen, the more the universe is going to give you, the more abundance, the more freedom, the more, the more joy, the more bliss, the more opportunities, the more rich your life is going to be. So that is all I have to share for today. We're just getting started. We're going to be talking about all this stuff and unpacking it and looking at it from different angles and all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stuff. We are just getting started. The fire is started and now, now it's going to grow <laughs> for sure. So thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for tuning in. And if you're watching the replay or anyone has any other questions, feel free to drop them here um, at any time. And I'll come back. I always come back and check the questions and say hi to everybody. I will see you guys next, next week back here, probably the same time, but I'll let you know. Have an amazing day, an amazing week. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.